They know exactly what time it is. They know their time is up. They know that their minute hand is on six and their hour hand is on six and that they can't go over the seven. They know exactly what time it is. That's why they spend billions of dollars every year to try to keep us down, right? That's why they call us black, you know, as in black op, right? Black ops to know a secret mission, right? Or as in black government, meaning secret. So that's why they call us black because they know that we are extraterrestrials, and that's the secret that they've been keeping, right? If you take a look at the Shriners hat, right, with the sword on the top, Right, and they have Ra on the hat, right? And the secret is they don't want to tell you that Amen Ra, right? Amen is the, the true and living God. And we are direct descendants of Amen, right? That's the secret. They hid it right in your face. Hey, when the Christians say they prayer, what do they say at the end of their prayer? In Jesus' name, Amen, right? And what do the Muslims say, right? Amen, right? And what do the Jews say? They say, Amen, right? So the gig is up. The gig is up, Shriner. The gig is up, Freemason, Illuminati. And take our headpiece off your head. We know you got Amen on there. And you got a sword up there, right? Because you can't say nothing. You can't tell us, right? But the cat's out the bag now, now, ain't it? We know Amen is the true and living God. Amen is a new. Y'all ain't talking nothing sleep. Amen is a new. A new is not the name. A new is a title, which means most high. You're not the real Illuminati. We are the real Illuminati, right? I got some beans right now that'll slit your throat and drink your blood, right? That ain't nothing new. Think you doing something in your rituals? Yo, we are the real Illuminati. And you was only giving a short time to rule, right? Illuminati, what you think you mean up to do? Nothing but what we told you to do, right? Nothing. You were put here as implant, right? As tests, as obstacles for us. We are here as guards in training. We know. You think we don't what we do? When you join an organization, right, so there's a Navy SEALs, right, or the military, right, you gotta go through basic training. You gotta go through obstacles. You gotta be put through tests, right? And those who succeed and graduate become part of their, uh, their organization. Well, this is the same thing with us. You gotta be put through tests, right? So this is a school, right? The school of the birds. We told you that, right? And some of us are here as instructors, such as myself, such as Bobby Yadnoon, such as Artun Ray, and several others. And a lot of you here are as guards and training. And a lot of you are put through different tests depending on the route you want to take, right? But we are the true being, that they know who we are. Many are called, but few are chosen. Some of you will succeed, and some of you will fail. Those who succeed will be given the reward to travel galactically again. They know we can fly, and not only do we fly, we fly in style. What you think Michael Jordan was doing when he glided from the free throw line, right? With his tongue hanging out. When they saw this, they said, man, niggas can fly, right? They even went as far as to call the brother Al Jordan, right? Because he jumped and they went to commercial and they came back and the brother still was in the air. You feel me? So they said, niggas can fly, right? They know Adolf Hitler, who will be a channel from Ashtar Command, decided to create his a super race, blonde hat, blue eyed race. Right? And took him to the Olympics. A country boy named Jesse Owens dusted their ass. Right? Lightning. They know who we are. So they created their super race and they still could match to just a regular black country boy. See, we are not human. We are extra. That's why we the strongest. That's why we the fastest. That's why we think the fastest. Right? The white man can't jump. And he damn sure can't dance. Yeah, they made a movie about him called White Man Can't Jump with Wesley Snipes in it. He know that your genetics is not the same as his, right? He know that his genetics is conducive with animals, right? And your genetics is conducive with God, right? Which is Amen, right? I knew, right? We know, and you know too. Don't believe me, go check it out. Put some music on and tell them to dance. And watch the beat be right there, and he's way over there, right? Way off beat, no rhythm, right? That's why the words today that you call curse words are called curse words, but at once they were called blessed words. Why? Because they express the very most in given situation. Because like Artun Ray said, it wasn't until they tried to speak like us because their rhythm and tone was off. They can't cuss. Right? Listen to a, a white person try to cuss you out. Their rhythm and tone is off. But let a sister cuss you out. Shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. 
Or let your grandma cuss at you. Man, it cut you deep, man. Your grandma cuss at you, she mean that shit, nigga. So we are supernatural beings. They know this, right? They tried to call us X-Men, right? And tried to label us as mutants, right? But we are not mutants, right? We are sea man. You hear it? And the sea is getting ready to become whole again. We are not X-Men, right? We are the almond bean. If we go back farther than Lucy, we've been on this planet 17 million 500 years, right? And then prior to that, we were in Orion. And then prior to that, we was in Ridge. Prior to that, right? We go all the way back. They know exactly who we are. We go back before the Big Bang, right? We go way back before the Big Bang, 76 trillion years ago. Bible said we were King Kong in this story. You wanna hear it by King Kong? King Kong was a giant gorilla with supernatural strength, right? They call him Kong because they implied Congo, which is Central Africa, implying all Africans are all Nubian beings, right? Every certain amount of years, the native people of the land that King Kong was the king of would give him a virgin, he would get the virgin, and run off in the woods and have a good time with him. To one day, right, the Amorites or Caucasoids came along, right? The natives saw the white woman, they said, oh, we can get Kong this white woman, he might not never come back. They tie the white woman up and give her the Kong. Kong get the white woman, run off in the jungle with her. Thus starts the episode of the Amorites or the Caucasoids going through Africa to get the king. Because the first thing that came to their mind when they saw King Kong is how can we get this nigga back to America and put him on stage so we can make some money. Right? So what did they do? When they found King Kong, they drugged him, right? They chained him down, put him on a ship, right? Right? And that's you. You chained down mentally, right? They got niggas over here. They put him on a football field, put him in the arena, in these different arenas, basketball, to make money off of them, right? Because they know who you are, right? They know all about you. That's why they came after you, right? They know about your supernatural strength and supernatural powers which lay dormant inside of you. So all you Jesse Jackson ass niggas, like Baba said, he'll let you in his party, but you gonna be the clown, nigga. You gonna be serving the hors d'oeuvres and sweeping the floor and serving drinks and shining shoes and shit. They knew this day was coming, right? They knew the day would come when the almond beans would return, when we would rise in the mines of the elect. Shout out to Brother Mental Elect for reminding me of what our job is and our mission is here, right? To raise the mind of the elect. Like Agent Smith said in the movie Matrix, this was inevitable, meaning it must come to play, right? And many are called, but few are chosen, right? A lot of you not gonna be able to handle this information. A lot of you gonna turn into vegetables when this signal start coming from the ship. Your mind is not advanced enough to receive this signal. So only a few are gonna be chosen, right? To take in this signal. Those who listen and raise their vibration, right? Cut this meat out your diet, right? Try to wing yourself off that meat, right? Cause meat ain't good for you. Plus we ain't got no, we ain't chopping no damn beef up on our ship. We ain't cooking you no damn hamburger on our ship. So you better get rid of it. We see a lot of you already starting to go vegan, right? All of you who receive the transmission to go vegan, Right? It's time now. All of you under the sound of my voice, it's time now. Start moving your way towards getting yourself together. Right? Get yourself in order. We know what you're up to. Right? Try to try to destroy the planet and get the hell out of here. But like Elijah Muhammad said, go on up there. We're going to bring you back. The almond beans going to bring your ass back. Because you can't stay up there. Right? You better keep that suit on too. Right? Because your eyes will pop out your head. You know. You know we know. We are the Cam family, right? And they've been kicking the can for quite some time now. But now it's time for the can to get up and show them what the can can do. They ran out of shit to do to us, right? They drugged us, they gave us liquor, they raped us, they lynched us, right? They took everything from us, took our language, our flag, everything from us, right? They ran out of shit to do to us. Now they try to get the hell out of here. And don't tell me about no damn Lucy, right? which is a genetics of an ape, right? The humanoid ape people. That is not us, right? We did not come from ape, right? We were not created here on Earth, right? We go back 76 trillion years before the Big Bang. 
He know what he was doing when he put out that Planet of the Apes movie. He know the apes are him, right? And we are the real people, right? We are the direct descendants of Amun coming down from on high. And like the brother Mental Leg said, we are the Superman. We are the super people. The people who would have extreme power. Well, somewhere along the line, we lost this power, right? But now we're starting to get it back. The almond beans are getting ready to give us our power back so we can take our rightful place as rulers, right? Because it's a galactic law. Before you can rule, you must first serve. Before you can rule, you must first serve. That's galactic law, right? So you are here as guards in training, right? Going through this obstacle called life where you experience pain and heartache and hurt, right? In order to grow you stronger, right? For the position that you're about to hold. So we have won the physical side of this war already. Because like we say, they did everything to us, even ran out of things to do to us. Now it's a mental war. We must understand the mental side of alchemy. In the game of pool, when the white ball knock all the other colors off the table and say the black ball for last. Well, now you Nubians who are conscious of this information, when you play pool, you need to use the black ball as the cue, right? And use the white ball, save it for last, and knock it off the table last as the eight ball. Reverse this alchemy, brothers and sisters. Let's start reversing this alchemy. Because this is a mental war now. This is, this is chess, not checkers. Ain't that what they say? This is a mental war now, so we need to start reversing some of their alchemy. Right? We must become one band, one sound, again, one mind, right? This is a mental war now. We must elevate our mind, right? And sharpen our mind up so that we can deal with this level, so we can be, be able to be accepted into the fourth dimension of realm, so we can speed up our vibration, so we can vibrate these motherfuckers up out of here, right? And this is a young elder signing out. And like I said, we're going to win this war. Why? Because we can dance and they can't.